we're looking at maybe six to eight weeks before we hit our peak and start to come back down. But we believe that if people uh, isolate and, and stay in groups of under 10, we believe if people avoid non-essential travel, we believe if people stay home from work or telework, that those are all effective ways to prevent the spread of virus. We're looking at South Korea. We're looking at Italy. We're looking at everywhere cases have popped up. And again, the scientists feel very comfortable that these mitigation efforts will have an impact but they require cooperation. They require 50 to 70 percent of the country really cooperating and doing their part. And that's what's most important right now. Well, there you've got the Surgeon General on this program about 90 minutes ago talking about isolating. Somebody who knows exactly what that is like is South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. He's the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He's uh, out of his self-isolation. Uh, he got the test. It was negative. Senator, for the people who are watching and worried about this self-isolation that they're going through right now by not uh, being, you know, close to other people, right. what advice do you have for them? Because it's so important that we do that. Well, what are we trying to accomplish here? America's under attack by a virus. We're moving to wartime footing. How do you kill the virus? You deny human contact. The battle plan is uh, no social gatherings, no eating out, no school, no sports, staying basically hunkered down in place, reduce work opportunity, living off less income. That's how we kill the virus. Unlike 9-11, where 1% of the America has been fighting the terrorist, 100% of us are foot soldiers in this battle. Mm -hmm. So if you're out of work, the Congress is going to try to give you a paycheck, not a one-time check. The unemployment insurance system never envisioned everybody being unemployed at one time. The Small Business Administration never envisioned all the small businesses needing loans. So this package we're working on called Phase 3 is designed, in my view, to give people income to get through this. Okay, Senator, so many people at home don't understand everything that's going on in Washington. We've heard Phase 1, we've heard Phase 2, now you're mentioning right. Phase 3. We've heard the Defense Production Act, Chuck Schumer has a plan. Will you tell us what, yeah. what's going to happen, who's going to benefit from all of this? If you're out of work, you need pay. So here's what I'm working on with Democrats. In South Carolina, you can apply for unemployment insurance. The maximum payment is $326 Ainsley before taxes. That's not nearly enough to get through this. You may be hunkered down for six to eight weeks, maybe even longer. So what if the federal government supplemented unemployment insurance payments all over the country? I'm willing to pay 75% of people's income up to $80,000 to get us through that. Mm -hmm. This, this ought to be enough money to get us through this next six to eight weeks. Senator, yes. I think that's, you gotta raise that threshold a little bit because I know for couples 150, for like single 75, I mean, if you make $150,000, you take home about 90, you have three kids, uh, I believe that they have to be addressed too. Yeah. The middle yeah, class well, the matters. Yeah, the family unit. I mean, the bottom line here is that we're trying to restore people's income. Before the virus, you had an income, right? Uh, if you weren't working, you were on unemployment or your own welfare. After the virus, you're not working. I want to restore your income. I don't want to give you $1,000 and say good luck. I want an income stream. It either comes from your employer. I'm willing to lend, uh, let every employer in the country borrow money to make payroll as long as they do payroll. And I'm willing to increase unemployment benefits so you can get most of your check. Mm -hmm. Senator Graham, you know, uh, what is going on right now in Washington is something that we haven't actually seen happen much over the last couple of years. And that is uh, you're talking to the Democrats. Democrats are talking to the Republicans. <laughs> yeah. Stuff is getting yeah. done. This yeah. is what everybody in America needs you to do right now. And yeah. it looks like you're right. You know, Congress is rising to the occasion. Yeah, the, the impeachment debacle has been replaced by the spirit of 9-11. I think America's under attack. It's under attack by a virus that can be destroyed if we stay away from each other. The virus needs human contact to survive. All of this social distancing, distancing, staying out of school, not going out to eat, is going to kill the virus over time. But Republicans and Democrats have one mission in phase three, in my view, is to make sure that you get most of your income, if not all of it, most of it. And how do you do that? You can do it through loans to businesses. You can do it, do it through the unemployment insurance mm -hmm. right. system but we have to work together like people are at home. And I think they get that. Senator, I got to ask you, uh, there's a story in the Washington Post today that Jared Kushner is running a parallel relief plan 
with the vice president. They're on separate tracks and working against each other, not on the same page. You talk to the president as much as anyone. Is this, in fact, true? It would be news to me. Uh, this is a wartime president. I talked to him last night. Uh, he is going to try to come up with a battle plan to kill the virus as soon as possible and help the economy stabilize until we get through this. I haven't seen any infighting personally, but uh, we're at war. We're at war with the virus, and here's the good news. You can kill this virus if you just stay away from each other. Is it acceptable for them to be working on separate paths? It's unacceptable for any of us to be working in different paths. You got Democrats and Republicans. What do you got? You got constituents out of work. What do you do with people who have lost their job in Myrtle mm -hmm. Beach, Ainsley? You give them a paycheck. What do you do to a small business that has no customers? You give them a loan so they can get through this and you can forgive the loan later. All of us should be about income stability. You got a lot on your plate at home right now. You just lost your job. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure in the next 48 hours or 72 hours you find a way to replace your income. Do you know what the president's message is at 11 o'clock today? I think some be very optimistic. There's three things to look for here. The day we have fewer cases in one week versus the other, that's turning the corner. Therapies, the day they come online to reduce mortality, that's turning the corner. When a vaccine's on the horizon, that will be turning the corner. When those three things begin to happen, we'll turn the corner. I think at 11 o'clock, you're going to hear some optimistic news about therapies and treatments to save people's lives. But until then, follow the battle plan. Right. Stay at home. You did stay at home when you were self-isolating yeah. after you ran <laughs> into somebody down at Mar-a-Lago. For the people who are isolating right now, do you have any advice on how to pass the time? Because it's driving some people crazy. Yeah, I watched uh, The Crown. I watched The Vietnam War. I watched uh, a lot of things. I stayed, at, I stayed on the phone. Uh, we're going to get to know each other whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. But compare this to World War II. We had blackouts. We had most of our sons and daughters going off to foreign lands to get killed. This is not that kind of commitment. It is a serious moment in American history. To defeat the virus, all you have to do is stay at home and make sure that if you get sick, you're responsible about it. That is so well put. Senator, Lindsey Graham. Thank you. Always good to see you. Thank you.